if it was actually nepotism, then my debut, you know, would have been under the wings of Karan Johar, who is the father of nepotism. I think that we all know where uh, singers stand in Bollywood industry, a little lower than actors. Welcome, you're watching me on India.com. I'm your host, Tanya Garg. Well, today we have with us someone really special. And you know, I am not the one to sing and tell, but she is. But today we have with us the one and only Shannon Kaye, the singer. Well, she's also the daughter of legendary singer Kumar Sanu. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm good too. So congratulations on your debut film. Excited? Yes, I'm very well excited and I'm nervous at the same time. So yeah, it's all good. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so uh, tell us something about your role, a little about your role in the movie. So my character is called Sana. She is a music student who comes down from US in yeah. search for um, authentic raw music, folk music, and she gets on her Harley Davidson and goes off on a beautiful journey to finding music. Um, little does she know, she comes up with these, she comes across these um, other characters, these other individuals who have their own story, backstory. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, talking about your father and how you're this amazing singer, uh, you, you know, you've remade his famous song, Pehla Pehla Pyaar, and it got mm -hmm. tons of love from people all across, of course. So, you know, but that's not really how usually the case is. You know, people sort of take it uh, remixes in a different manner. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, my thoughts are to not really play too much with an original song, especially if it's an iconic song, if it's got a lot of people's um, hearts and strings attached to it, because then you're playing with their emotions, you know, their memories of, of that song. So yeah, the first thing that came up in my mind when I got, uh, you know, when I got approached from Sony India to do a reprised version of Bella Bella PR was instantly what would dad say? Because he is a little, you know, iffy on the whole remixes part and, uh, you know, he's, he's not so much keen on it. But I, yeah, I called him up and I made sure that, you know, I wasn't really, um, I was keeping the soul of the of the original song and you know putting a little bit of my elements and my skills into it uh, creating a you know another version of it but not another song <laughs> that which you know some most of the artists do they they take an iconic song and they just throw in anything and everything in it which is why you know you there's a loss of soul and there's a loss of connection and people don't really expect like accept it is there any learning from your father or something that you learned you know that has stayed with you subconsciously the learning that i have uh gotten is to be patient um it's the you know overall journey of an artist and how an artist should be um, and it's just how he explains, you know, the difference between fame and success. That's great. But do you believe that, you know, because he's this legendary singer who has so many iconic Hindi tracks, do you ever feel that you have to carry that baggage of your father's success? Do you ever feel that you've ever been that in that position? I do, actually. It is definitely a, a, a pressure because I, you know, he has such um, great dignity and respect which he has you know earned throughout his career and life and I don't think I have the right or I'm in a position to you know do something in my life for my career which would harm that you know dignity uh, of his that respect so keeping that in mind there is definitely a pressure as to what sort of you know uh what sort of jobs and opportunities I take on, um, keeping that, you know, uh, his legacy ahead, keeping that name. Um, and definitely I gotta, you know, about more so like thinking about me, I always have to think about, you know, 
the name attached yeah. to me because people would would not only just come to me they would also attack him so i got to make sure of that <laughs> this is your debut movie and you know uh, there's of course there will be a lot of appreciation but again you know not many people would be ready because you're this celebrity's daughter and then there right. comes this n word so <laughs> you know uh, like how prepared do you feel that you're for that i am prepared actually because i think i've uh, you know i've somewhat experienced the n word <laughs> um since uh, ever since i started my musical career as well and i had to again you know time and again i had to prove myself i had to explain to people that it is not uh you know solely based off on uh, my dad's name and even getting this movie you know it was uh based on my previous work which got me this movie um so yeah and i think if it was actually nepotism then my debut you know would have been under the wings of Karan Johar who is the father of nepotisms um i don't think that was the case in this uh and even the movie itself you know it's it's not a uh bollywood commercial glam movie it's a, a you know it's a, a biker movie it's um a travel based movie which is very rare um that you see in bollywood so completely different um so so yeah and i think that we all know where uh singers stand in bollywood industry a little lower than actors you know uh if it were, if i were an actor's kid yeah sure i would have gotten signed to any you know any mu- major music label um i got a, i would have had like movies that i would have probably gotten awards by now too but that's not the case um i started my career out in the west and i worked um you know whatever is it that i achieved um that by looking at that i'm getting opportunities up here in in bollywood so so yeah and i don't have any big connections either i am not in any you know uh, what do they say like so called lobbies or you know i don't have big people behind me i don't have powerful people so i'm just solely based on uh work <laughs> you know since you talked about how uh, you know you're not a part of this and you talked about levels i would like like to uh, mention you know that we have interviewed a lot of singers in the past and there was one thing that i found was pretty common was how the playback singers are not given their due you know like they're not paid i would say that you know the system how of how bollywood works is completely different to how you know you would see in the west so yes in you know the the moment the day that it, music industry was created that w- that system you know automatically got created too where you know singers weren't really they didn't get royalties it was just like a one off you know uh an upfront fee and then you're done you know so i think now that we're slowly and gradually looking out in the west we're seeing that hey you know even artists get that even singers get the that respect so i think it's um it's it's high time that we we do show respect because if you think about it back in the 90s um you know there was no there were no such thing as youtube social media so the only way to access um movies or to find out was through music itself people you know got to know the actors of the movies through music so i think if if anybody should um get that you know credit and appreciation and respect it should be all the you know uh the music fraternity in in bollywood so i'm really happy that um there have been associations and there have been artists who have been vocal um about this issue and and i hope that you know everybody gets their dues you know before we wind up uh, i would like to request you to sing one of your father's favorite song your favorite song of your father sure um so my favorite song has to be jab koi baat bhul jaye okay uh okay and it goes something like this jab koi baat bhul jaye jab koi mushkil pad jaye tum de na saath mera tum hum na va koi hai na koi tha zindagi mein tumhare siwa 
Well, that's that's what we call a beautiful redemption. I think that was a great tribute to your father. Thank you so so much for joining us today.